Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? I mean, seriously, why does it have to be snakes? I know that many snake species are harmless and that you won't likely encounter the most dangerous ones in your lifetime, but that doesn't mean the danger's not out there. All it takes is one random encounter with one of these snakes and you're in serious trouble. Plus, because of how many snake species are out there, you may not realize how much trouble you're in until things go south. So with that in mind, here now are 20 snakes you should fear the most. Number 20. Two-Headed Snake now we're going right for the freaky things to start you out. Don't say you haven't been warned. You see, in Florida, a family freaked out when they saw a two-headed snake near their house. The southern black racer they found was bicephalic, which meant that it had two heads, likely as a result of two monozygotic twins failing to separate during embryo development, according to the state's Fish and Wildlife Research Institute. Two-headed snakes are unlikely to survive in the world, as the two brains make different decisions that inhibit the ability to feed or even escape from predators. So it's actually some good news. meaning that you're not likely to find two-headed snakes on the regular because of basic science and biology. But the fact that such a snake can exist is something that we have a hard time dealing with, and I'm sorry to say, why? Why is it possible for something like this to even exist? Yes, I've already heard the science and that's all well and good, but I'm talking about a more base level. Why are we living in a world where two-headed snakes can exist and live long enough to grow to a fairly scary size? What's more, I know for a fact that this isn't the only instance where a two-headed snake has been born and survived for some time. I know specifically of one that grew to an adult state in this form. Now I'm just saying, if a two-headed one can happen, then more heads might also be a possibility, and then suddenly it's a hydra situation and then I'm out. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Wrinkle Snake now I've calmed down and I'm ready to talk about a more regular snake, but admittedly, snakes that you can still have to run in terror from if you should see them. And thus, I speak about the wrinkle snake, a cobra which can grow to be about four feet in length and is known to be a little bit on the bulkier side than its cobra brethren. But here's where things get really weird, because as a cobra, you'd think, fairly enough, that it was an aggressive kind of snake, and the reason that you should fear it is that it's going to come after you if you get too close. Well, not exactly. Rather, this snake is one that prefers to avoid attacking unless absolutely necessary. For example, like other animal species, it will make itself look bigger by extending its hood, and then if the predator or even a dumb human gets closer, they'll shoot out venom from their mouths, aiming for your face and your eyeballs. Oh, and they can hit you from nearly seven feet away, which is another thing to be cautious about. But the twist in all of this is that while those are some aggressive tactics, in truth, their best tactic that they can use is that they play dead. That way, predators will just leave them be. However, many humans see this dead snake and come closer to it and then get bitten, which is obviously on the terrible side. Their venom effects are not as severe as those of other cobra species and usually include pain, bruising, and swelling in the bite area, along with nausea, vomiting, drowsiness, vertigo, and abdominal pain. You know, any standard normal Saturday. Still though, I wouldn't want that in my system, would you? Number 18. Coral Snakes now I'll talk about a snake species which is 100% terrible and that you should fear running into in any kind of context, period. Behold, the coral snake. A species which may look beautiful because of their brightly colored flesh, but make no bones about it, these snakes are murderers. 
which we can back up very easily as their venom is the second deadliest amongst snakes in the entire world. There's one small catch with that though. While they're easily very deadly, they don't have the most effective way of getting their venom into your system. So thus, they're ranked lower than many other snakes on this list. But make no mistake, if the venom does get into you, then you're absolutely in trouble. Coral snakes are slender and small, typically being between 18 and 20 inches long, though a few have been noted as getting to 3 feet in length. Because of the coral snake's dangerous reputation, many non-poisonous snakes disguise themselves as the coral snake by having similar body patterns. Just think about that. Even other snakes know how dangerous that these ones can be, and thus they'll mimic them. That's street cred right there, or perhaps it's snake cred. Whatever, you know what I mean. Coral snakes' small fixed fangs and small mouth mean that it's difficult for them to puncture human skin, and so it's hard to get the venom into the body. If you do look at the stats though, ever since an antidote was invented, there have been no coral snake caused deaths in the United States since the 1960s, and some species have never had a death associated with them at all. This snake's neurotoxic venom causes rapid paralysis and respiratory failure in its prey, so this is one species that you'd best just stay safe around or else you may end up being sorry. Number 17. Spider-Tailed Horned Viper now there's a name that's going to scare you without even having to be seen, just saying. And the reason for the name? Well, it's equally as scary. The spider-tailed horned viper has a unique growth at the tip of its tail that's covered in long, thin scales that resemble spider legs, which is gross, but also very effective. They expertly wiggle this bait around to mimic the skittering movements of a spider, tricking onlooking birds into thinking that they've just discovered a tasty meal. So thus, the birds swoop down, trying to get to the spider, and when they do, the snake is there and snatches the bird within a fraction of a second. That's how good these snakes are. They don't need much time to get what they want, and that's scary. Equally as scary is that you'd think that birds would actually notice the rest of the snake, but they don't. The body of this particular horned viper is able to be camouflaged against gypsum and limestone rocks, which is all around it in parts of its habitat of Iran. So in a way, the birds only see what they're supposed to see and pay the price as a result. Though it should be noted that more local birds, likely through shared experience, have learned not to fall for this trick. But other birds, not native to the region, or humans who are just curious about what they're seeing, not so much. It's actually unknown how the snake came to get this evolution, but clearly it's working out for them. Number 16. Gaboon Vipers Vipers as a whole are a snake species you'll want to be careful around for rather obvious reasons, but if you want to know about one of the most scary of the lot, you need only to look at the fangs of the Gaboon Viper. What's more, like many snakes on this list, it has the ability to truly camouflage into its surroundings, having a short tail, a broad head that mimics a fallen leaf, right down to the central vein. This striking pattern is excellent camouflage in the snake's native habitat. It helps it to blend into the leaf litter of the forest floor and that obviously makes it a better predator when it wants to capture its prey. It's the heaviest venomous snake in Africa, weighing just 18 pounds, and grows to be a length of about 7 feet. But I'll talk about those fangs for a moment because they happen to have one of the longest sets of fangs amongst snakes as they're able to get 1.6 inches long, more than enough to get its hooks into someone or something. Plus, if you look at the skull of the Gaboon Viper, you're going to notice that their smaller teeth more than add to the terror of the larger ones. And here's where two twists come into play. Because of its docile nature in terms of hunting, it's a very much you come to me and I'll attack you kind of snake, attacks on humans are quite rare which is great, however, humans have been bitten by them, and when they do get bit, the results are usually catastrophic. In humans, a bite from a Gaboon Viper causes rapid and conspicuous swelling, intense pain, severe shock, and local blistering. Other symptoms may include uncoordinated movements, defecation, urination, swelling of the tongue and eyelids, convulsions and unconsciousness, blistering, bruising, and necrosis can be extensive. In other words, Ouch. Number 15. The Green Anaconda. 
Now I'll talk about a snake that should absolutely terrify you even though you're likely very far away from it right now, the green anaconda. It's without a doubt one of the longest snakes in the world, and what's more, it's the heaviest by a large margin. But how heavy is it, you may ask? Well, it can actually weigh to be about 550 pounds. That's more than twice the size of a rather stocky human, and their length backs up the girth. While the true biggest length is debatable, you can very easily find these snakes being over 20 feet, with one record length stating that it could be about 29 feet in length. Add to that that their girth is that of a solid foot, and thus this long snake is a thick snake and a heavy one. Now that's not a good combination for its prey, because like many anacondas like to do, they constrict their victims. Once an anaconda sights its target, it's going to grab the animal in its jaws, locking it in with its teeth, and once firmly grasped, the anaconda will coil around the prey and squeeze until it dies of crushing or suffocation. You know, whichever happens first. The green anaconda is native to South America, making its home in swamps, marshes, and streams. So at first, you'd think that many of you may be safe, but if you're in the area, you don't need to only fear this snake popping up on land because it's much more nuanced than that. Its huge body actually makes it perfect for swimming. So yes, it can attack you on land or in the water. So good luck with that. Number 14. Mozambique Spitting Cobra It's never a good thing when you hear that an animal can hurl its venom at you, and when it's a snake that's doing that, well that's just even more terrifying. I've already showed you one snake that does this, however the Mozambique Spitting Cobra is another that can, and they're much more mean about it. First and foremost, they're considered one of the most dangerous snakes in all of Africa, which is troubling given that all the other man-killers they have there. Its venom is about as toxic as the American Mojave rattlesnake, considered the world's most venomous rattlesnake. And whoever gets bit by this thing doesn't go for the right operation. So that's another comparison that doesn't bode well for anyone that gets near it. Thankfully though, they do only inhabit Africa. Specifically, they're found in Angola, Botswana, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Tanzania, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. And they do prefer savanna areas that have water nearby in case they want to make a quick escape from their predators. But make no mistake, it will attack you if it can and even wants to, and that includes spitting it right at you. And trust me when I say that you don't want that at all. Its bite can cause severe local tissue destruction, ever a good thing. Venom to the eyes can also cause impaired vision or even blindness, which also sucks. The venom of this species contains postsynaptic neurotoxins and cytotoxins, and there have been only a few fatalities which result from the bites of the species, but survivors are mostly disfigured. Think about that for a moment. The venom is so bad that even if you do live, you'll likely be maimed in some sort of way, which is horrifying to consider. So definitely stay away from this spitting cobra. Number 13. Boa Constrictor Easily one of the most well-known faces on this list, the boa constrictor is a snake species that pretty fairly states what it does when it comes to its name. It constricts you. They aren't as long as the anaconda, but being a 13-foot long snake at its peak is nothing to scoff at, and if you do scoff at it, I'm pretty sure the snake is going to have some words with you. That length is more than enough to get the job done with its prey, especially when you recall that constriction also depends on weight, to which some boa constrictors can weigh over a hundred pounds. Boas have small hooked teeth that they use to grab and hold onto their prey, and if their teeth fall out or become damaged, they can actually regrow them. They don't have the typical snake fangs, mainly because they aren't venomous snakes at all hence the need for the constriction. The twist here though is that these boa constrictors are able to move their jaws in such a way that they can actually swallow things that are much bigger than they should. For some of you out there, this could be a snake that you're in danger from in its own way, of course. They're found throughout the Americas, ranging from northern Mexico all the way to Central America and into Peru on the west side of the Andes to the south of Argentina on the east. Some have even been introduced into Florida and have all 
been causing problems as a result. To be fair, they do prefer the solitary lifestyle, but like many on this list, that doesn't mean that you'll want to go and poke the bear, or even the snake. Number 12. Boom Slang No, 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 I did not make the name Boom Slang up. It's actually a real snake and it's a real danger to you if you're not careful. The boom slang, aka the tree snake in various languages, is rather special because it's a snake that is the only species in its genus. In terms of length, its average is about three to five feet, though there have been a few that have been known to grow over six feet. Despite that length, it's very light in weight and barely weighs a pound at times, but don't just judge it upon its size because that may be bad for you. If you were to look at the head of the boom slang, you'll notice that not only is it egg-shaped, but it has huge eyeballs. That right there is a major function of its body, mainly because it allows the boom slang to have amazing vision, so much so that it'll move its head side to side in order to ensure that it knows everything that's around it. The Thus, sneaking up on this snake can be very hard. Naturally, that brings me to its venom. Boom slang venom is both potent and slow acting, making it so that the victim doesn't know that they're in danger until it's too late. The venom of the boom slang is primarily a hemotoxin. It disables the coagulation process and the victim may die as a result of internal and external bleeding. The venom has been observed to cause hemorrhages into tissues such as muscles and the brain and other signs and symptoms include headache, nausea, sleepiness, and mental disorders. So yeah, that's terrible in all the ways that matter. You're either going to die of bleeding or you can get a mental disorder from this snake. Want to show us the snake up close? No thanks, hard pass. Number 11, the Mojave Rattlesnake. And now, for the first true rattlesnake on the list, the Mojave Rattlesnake. Now, I could very easily tell you that the rattlesnake is a dangerous thing, but why ruin the fun of making you suffer as you hear exactly how dangerous this one is? This is a particularly dangerous snake in parts of the United States and Mexico, and also should be noted that its population size is said to be unknown. As a result, you could be out in their habitat and not even know that they're right there with you until it's too late. Now on the bright side, they do tend to be nocturnal as they usually live in hot areas and don't want to get baked by the sun. I can relate with that one, but they do come out on cooler days and that can cause problems. They have a reputation for being aggressive towards people and like other rattlesnakes, they will defend themselves vigorously when disturbed. And you won't like them when they're disturbed because they have a highly venomous bite that's awaiting you if you do. They are the deadliest of all rattlesnakes, and their potency can actually delay the effects of you realizing how badly you've been bitten. The venom can produce vision abnormalities and difficulty swallowing and speaking, and in severe cases, skeletal muscle weakness can lead to difficulty breathing and even respiratory failure. Oh goodness. The good news is that because of how many bites there are in the past, they have an antivenom for you, so if you do get bitten and need medical treatment quickly, you should be fine, hopefully. Number 10. Saw Scaled Viper to some, the saw-scaled viper is the deadliest viper in the world, which you'd think would instantly put it on top of the list, but at one time it may have landed there. However, there's a good twist for all of you out there. You see, originally, if you were bitten by a saw-scaled viper, the mortality rate would be about 20%. The catch is that because of the development of an antivenom, people honestly don't die too much from these bites anymore. In fact, the venom was so bad at one point that they actually developed nine different antivenoms just to make sure that they could cure someone who had been bitten. On the flip side though, that's how deadly they can be if you're not careful and wander into their territory. Because if you don't have a place to get antivenom quickly, you're going to be in trouble. Number nine. Philippine Cobra. 
The Philippine Cobra is a highly venomous snake that's native to the northern regions of the Philippines, hence the name. Philippine Cobra, as if that shouldn't be obvious to you. A problem for those who live in the country is that these snakes are more than happy to live in places where humans like to roam. In fact, they're also known to sometimes live near or in human settlements, and that's bad. But wait, it does get worse, because of course it gets worse. This is another spitting cobra, and they can actually spit venom at you from 10 feet away. You might not even see them before they spit their venom into your eyeballs. The symptoms of a bite could include headache, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, dizziness, and difficulty breathing, but they can also cause necrosis and respiratory failure. Hence why they're so feared by so many people. Number 8. The Death Adder now, when you have death in your name in a non-ironic way, it's always a bad sign. Found in Australia and Papua New Guinea and certain islands that surround them, the death adder is not only considered one of the most venomous snakes around, but it's Australia's top ambush predator. Which makes it really bad for those who don't want to pick a fight with the snake, because it may not even matter. Symptoms that you'll get if you were to get bitten by the snake include paralysis of extraocular muscles, abdominal pain, headache, drowsiness, enlargement of regional lymph nodes. The snake's venom can literally shut down your respiratory system, and you'll die because you can't breathe. Oh, and they're also known to go after humans and their pets on a regular basis. The one piece of good news, they also do dry bites, meaning that ones don't have venom. Those are warning bites, if you will, so you could get those, or you could die. Number 7. Tiger Snakes Tiger snakes as a whole are a species of snake that you should absolutely avoid, mainly because this covers a whole true species of snakes, and all of them are dangerous. They also come in all shapes and sizes, which includes some ranging to over 6 feet in length. And as you'll likely guess, their venom is known to be very fatal to humans. The tiger snake venom possesses potent neurotoxins, coagulants, other things like mitotoxins, and more. Symptoms of a bite could include localized pain in the foot and the neck region, tingling numbness and sweating, all followed by a fairly rapid onset of breathing difficulties and paralysis. In fact, from the year 2000 to 2015, tiger snakes accounted for 17% of all snake bites in Australia. And you can bet that those people who did get bit went to get treatment immediately. Number 6. Russell's Viper Russell's vipers are, conceivably, the most maligned, reveled, and feared species of snake that's found in India. When that's how you start an entry, you know it's a really bad snake to interact with. So why are they so hated? Part of it is because of their ambush predator tendencies. They have a really bad habit of staying incredibly still and only lashing out when they're absolutely ready. As such, they're not the easiest thing to spot, especially when you're doing something as basic as walking around. People in India are known to accidentally step on these snakes and then pay the price. Like all vipers, they have long, hypodermic needle-like hinged fangs in the front of their mouths. This enables them to inject venom very effectively with just one jab, as opposed to having to cling on to their prey. And that venom, well, it can cause necrosis and all sorts of tissue damage. So thus, their hate of this snake is justified, more or less. Number 5. Black Mamba Hands down, one of the deadliest creatures in the world today, and easily one of the deadliest snakes, is the black mamba. It's honestly not hard to see why. First and foremost, they can grow to be about 9 feet in length. That makes for a big snake. Secondly, they're known for their striking ability and even going rapid fire with the biting on people and animals should they be considered a threat. Oh, and they are indeed a threat to your life. If the venom is enough, a bite from a black mamba can cause you to collapse in 45 minutes, and the effects you'll have leading up to that are most neurological. And without treatment, you will absolutely die, and many have in the past. Thankfully, though, there is an antivenom, but you'll need to get it quickly in order to ensure that you're actually 
safe. Many do fear the Black Mamba, and you should be one of them. Number 4. Eastern Brown Snake now you may think that talking about anything after the black mamba would be foolhardy, but don't be so quick to judge the eastern brown snake. This snake is one that's a killer. After all, it's known to be the second most toxic snake in the world today. This snake is responsible for about 60% of human snake bite deaths in Australia. Exactly. It's good at killing people that it alone makes up the snake deaths in one country by a large margin. The main effects of its venom are on the circulatory system, which includes hemorrhaging, cardiovascular collapse, and cardiac arrest. So they're also long and fast and reach over seven feet in length and being stated to move faster than a person when they're running. Now do you see why it's above the black mamba? Number 3. Inland Taipan well, good news first. The inland Taipan prefers to live a remote lifestyle and barely comes above ground during the day. As a result of that, it's highly unlikely that you're ever going to encounter one in the wild and get bitten by it. So, hooray! However, if you were to encounter this snake and you were to be bitten by it, well, it was nice knowing you. The venom of the Inland Taipan is extremely potent and is rated to be the most toxic of all snake venom in various tests. And due to how this snake is able to make several bites on a person or prey at once, it means that their venom could be rather fast acting, and thus you'll be instructed to seek an antivenom with haste. Number 2. Black Necked Cobra now we have one last cobra for you and this one is a doozy. The venom of this snake is potently cytotoxic, causing pain, swelling, blistering and possibly even tissue damage. <laughs> And even more so, it's an opportunistic snake, one that doesn't like to be disturbed and also has the ability to climb trees. So you could be even closer to this snake than you may realize and then it'll strike out to bite you. Or because it's yet another spitting cobra, it could actually spit its venom at you and absolutely ruin your day. Number 1. Belcher's Sea Snake now I'm going to get right to the point with the Belcher's Sea Snake because they have something that nobody honestly expects. Venom from this sea snake is so toxic that one single bite can kill a human being in less than 30 minutes. Some studies have even indicated that the venom may be a hundred times more toxic than the Inland Taipan. which many repeatedly say is the most venomous snake in the world. But if this analysis is correct, it's not even close. If the numbers are to be true, one singular drop of the venom from this snake is enough to kill 1,800 people. This venom can not only cause basic symptoms, but also comes with hysteria, kidney failure, uncontrollable bleeding, and so much more. Now yes, there are antivenoms for this snake, thank goodness, but because of the potency of the venom, Venom, you must get treated quickly or else. That's all from the realm of snakes that you really should avoid. What did you think of the snake species that were shown to you today? And do you know of any of them that are close to where you reside? Are you going to take a special note of some of these in case you do run into them? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you next time.